In November 2014, DEQ submitted a report to EPA that documented DEQ's use of state cleanup authorities to identify potential sources of contaminants to the river and remove or control them. DEQ comprehensively applied the DEQ-EPA Joint Source Control Strategy to evaluate all pathways that could take contaminants to the river. The three main pathways are soil and bank erosion, groundwater, and stormwater. DEQ identified about 500 commercial and industrial properties around the Superfund reach of the river and screened in 168 sites, about 35%, for further evaluation. DEQ completed source control evaluations and implemented controls on one or more pathways at 119 of the sites, about 25% of the properties surrounding Portland Harbor. The report briefly summarizes the issues at about 170 sites and source control efforts completed or in process. The report also provides site-by-site determinations of the potential for the river to become recontaminated by these upland properties after EPA cleans it up. The report presents information on all 170 sites, broken up into nine geographic regions. The boundaries are based on drainage basins and historical districts and neighborhoods. For an example, let's take a look at the Doan Lake-Wilbridge Georegion map. Source control status and details for each site in the georegion are expanded in the text and tables of the report. Each georegion map provides a lot of information in a snapshot, and it takes a little bit of time to get oriented. There is a legend to help interpret what the symbols represent. For example, in the Doan Lake Wilbridge georegion map, we see the location in the harbor and by river miles, and it includes EPA's sediment areas of potential concern and any early action sites. It shows all potential stormwater outfalls, many of which are no longer active, including the 39 city outfalls, which drain about 50% of the study area. It shows an ODOT project running throughout the study area and the outfalls it drains to. It shows groundwater plumes, shaded red, yellow, or blue, reflecting decreasing severity of threat to the river in relation to progress on control. It shows bank areas that need control. And it shows source control measures that are currently in place. The geographic region site tables present a quick overview of all the sites in each area by listing each site name and the DEQ Environmental Cleanup Site Information, or ECSI, database number where more information on each site is available. The contaminant transport pathways evaluated, the priority DEQ initially assigned to each pathway in order to plan our work to ensure our best efforts were aimed at the worst sites first, source control measures applied where needed and when, when and how source control decisions are documented, and DEQ's determination of the site-specific potential for recontamination. DEQ worked on high, medium, and low-priority sites at the same time. It's important to note that DEQ did not change site priority designations based on progress made at the site. Instead, the tables tell the story of source control at each site by looking at the initial priority, what was done at the site, and then the recontamination potential. The extensive removal and capping of contaminants at the McCormick and Baxter site turned this high-priority threat to the river into a low potential for recontamination. Monitoring of the effectiveness of these measures over the last 10 years has demonstrated that recontamination is not happening from this site. The report concludes that potential contaminant sources at the properties around the Portland Harbor reach of the river have been identified and source control work is complete at most of the 170 sites investigated. The closing sections of the report include tables to track completion of planned actions and monitoring to demonstrate that sources of contaminants to the river have been effectively stopped. DEQ will continue to coordinate with EPA to ensure completion of effective source control and to develop and implement a plan to monitor and manage any threats to the in-water cleanup from the surrounding properties 
or from upstream.